Hello and welcome to the first video in the Snort video series. My name is Nick Mavis. I am a research engineer at Talos Intelligence under the Detection Response Team. To start, I wanted to talk to everyone about the basics of Snort and the technology surrounding it. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. Talos, what is Snort, Snort 2 and Snort 3, and how do they work, the Snort rule set, and pulled pork. Some of you might not know what Talos is or what it is that we do. We are the Cisco Talos Intelligence Group and one of the largest threat intelligence teams in the world. We are also the official content creators for Snort. Well, what does that mean to Snort and you? Talos is solely responsible for maintaining and updating the Snort rule base that keeps you safe from attackers. We are the first responders for Cisco security and utilize our research, data sources, and telemetry to protect you from everyday threats. So what is Snort and why do you care? Snort is an open source intrusion prevention system that is capable of real-time traffic analysis and packet logging. Through this, Snort is able to detect and neutralize potential exploit traffic directed at your network before an attacker ever hits an actual machine. It does this by dropping malicious traffic off of the network prior to arriving at its intended destination. Snort is now implemented into a huge portfolio of security products at Cisco but still remains completely free to anyone who wishes to use it. There are two versions of Snort currently, Snort 2 and Snort 3, which is still in beta at the moment. We're going to go over both, but I would like to start with Snort 2. Snort 2.9.12.0 is the latest release and the current supported version of Snort. It is by far the most commonly used among enthusiasts. When using Snort, we always recommend installing the newest version to receive the best experience possible. Now you're thinking, how does Snort work? Well, let's go over what it looks like when a packet on your network is processed by Snort at a high level. The process starts when a packet comes into your network and is received by a virtual or dedicated machine that has Snort installed. That packet is processed by Snort and first sent through the Snort decoders. The decoders have the job of determining which underlying protocols are used in the packet. For example, Ethernet, IP, and TCP are all protocols that would be processed by a Snort decoder. The protocol decoder performs basic operations such as looking for errors or anomalies in fields of the applicable protocol header. This is the first step in preparing the packet for further inspection. Following the decoders, the packet is sent to a number of what we call preprocessors. Preprocessors are plugins designed for Snort to handle certain types of traffic and present the data to Snort in a normalized fashion. That means Snort, to the best of its ability, will attempt to eliminate potential IPS or IDS evasion and format the data into something that is easy to work with using the Snort rule syntax. The Snort preprocessors allow us to deal with things such as IP fragmentation, stream reassembly, and populate the Snort buffers using the rule syntax. That is a lot of functionality. Don't worry, though. You will learn more about how preprocessors work later in this video series. Once processed, the packet is sent through the Snort rule tree, where rules developed by Talos, or even your own custom rules, can flag traffic that is believed to be malicious or against policy. And after all that, Snort either drops the traffic off of your network completely, so the destination machine never receives it, or passes it along safely. Of course, all of this is logged so you can review intrusion events and the associated packets. You can even forward it into your own logging system, such as Splunk or your preferred SIM. Let's talk about the next iteration of Snort, Snort 3. Snort 3 is going to be incredible. Not only does it address limitations we had in Snort 2, it's a better user experience. Snort 3 has been rewritten in C++, which will make the code base more modular easier to maintain and understand for power users. We've introduced threading and shared memory into Snort 3, allowing it to make the most of its available resources. This will allow you to scale Snort to your network. Plugins are also an exciting part of Snort 3. Utilizing LuaJIT, Snort users can write their own custom plugins much easier than before. Custom plugins will give you the ability to do in-depth file processing or even add your own Snort rule options. This mentality has also been applied to configuring Snort. We've also made it easier to write your own Snort rules. The new and improved Snort rule syntax was revamped to be easier to understand and write for new users. Backed by new functionality provided in Snort 3, this will make flagging unwanted traffic a breeze. 
Some of you may be worried that upgrading your current deployment to SNORT 3 could be a hassle. It is true that you cannot use SNORT 2 configuration or rule files in SNORT 3, but that's not a problem. We provide an official tool that allows you to convert your existing rules and config to a compatible version. That tool is called SNORT Tolua and is available in SNORT 3 by default. Simply download SNORT 3 and you can find it in the tools subdirectory. We also offer documentation to help you through that process. All in all, SNORT 3 is going to be the future, and I strongly recommend checking it out. In order to take advantage of SNORT and best protect your network, you want to download the official rule set provided on SNORT.org. The rule set is available for both SNORT 2 and SNORT 3 to make it easier on you. We do offer our rules for free. However, we offer a subscription for a small fee. There are a couple benefits to getting a paid subscription. The first one is that the free rule set is 30 days behind our current release. A paid subscription guarantees you have up-to-date coverage for the newest threats, and this includes multiple releases a week. You also gain the ability to submit false positives and false negatives directly to Talos for review. There are currently three types of subscriptions available. This makes the rule set available at an affordable price for all types of customers. They all enjoy the same benefits of immediate availability for new rules, advanced coverage of exploits and malware, and the ability to submit data to Talos. Let's talk about the three options. The personal license is geared towards someone that is using Snort in their home network for educational purposes or for their own protection. It is also by far the cheapest option. If you're using Snort in your business, you will need to upgrade to a business license. The licenses are made available on a per sensor basis. So if you wanted to deploy more than one Snort box, you would need licenses for both. Lastly, you can contact us on snort.org regarding an integrator license. Integrator licenses allow a company to integrate Snort into their own product as an authorized reseller. This option comes with no upfront fee, and you are free to use our copyright and logos as described by the terms and agreement. Downloading rule sets constantly can be a pain, so for those of you who wish to make updating an easier process, there's a helper script called Pooled Pork. Pooled Pork will automatically download the latest rules based on your version of Snort and will always keep you up to date. It does this while maintaining your existing rule set and configuration file so you don't lose any modifications you've already made. Keep in mind that Pooled Pork is a third-party application is not officially a part of Snort. In order to get started with using Snort, please be sure to check out our other videos in this series. These videos will cover everything from configuration and installation of Snort, basic rule writing, event handling, as well as advanced configuration and usage. We plan for this to be an ongoing series to provide you more educational content straight from the engineers that know Snort best. I hope that you all enjoy this introduction to Snort and what it can do for you. If you need a link to the tools and information we discussed, please see the information below the video or pause the video here for a full list. Thank you.